Because what we need to do here is to calculate by how much our equilibrium output and income will increase if there's a decrease in taxes of 200 and we know that the marginal propensity to consume is 0.8. So the information we have is that the tax rate will decline by 200 and small c is equal to 0.8. And we want to know what will be the change in output. Now, output we know is determined by the multiplier times the autonomous spending. And autonomous spending. And we also know that autonomous spending is equal to autonomous consumption plus autonomous investment plus autonomous government spending minus small c taxes. And this is the part that we will work on. So if we look at the value for the multiplier, will be equal to 1 over 1 minus 0 0.8 equals 5. So we know now for every 1 rand change here, we will get a 5 rand change in output and income. So we need now to calculate the change in autonomous spending. And the reason it's going to change is because of the decline in taxes. So we have to calculate that part. So let's see what is the change in autonomous spending. It's equal to minus 0 0.8, minus 200, since it's a decrease, and that will be equal to 160. So the change in output will now be equal to the multiplier times the change in autonomous spending, which is equal to 5 times 160 equals 800. So we get that increase of 800 in our equilibrium output and income.